intro music there, Matt? Yeah, I think so. He just got the job. Yes. Can actually be a vital part of this team now. <laughs> well, I don't uh, do much either, so. Uh, you're the eye candy, Colby. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's what I am? Yeah. That's your job. Yeah, and the man. trouble child. Yeah, that's true. I, I can do that one better than I can do. <laughs> you're the one that gives yeah. Tanner a lot of work. <laughs> 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 Not a lot. I try and I, I probably only have one slip up, and that was already tonight. It was, no, that was like three. Oh, you've had you've had more slip ups. Oh, I have. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Oops. I think we all have. We all have. Like recently. <laughs> Yo, big news. Kind of big news. Kind of kind of old news. Colby's getting married. The rest of us already are married. It's mm-hmm. exciting. And uh, we we want to let you all know. Hold on, hold on. We didn't you... think we'd be here right now. Oh, oh no! Neither did that again. one guy. Neither did that one guy on Instagram. Yeah. So uh, yeah. shout out if to you're him. Still listening. We we do have females, and today y'all are gonna get to uh, learn a little bit about them. We're gonna tell you kind of how we how we met them and how the first date went down, and you guys can uh. Radar Riz, which did you guys know? That is stands for charisma. Is that what it? Oh, <laughs> I, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, I figured you would, Tanner. But for the rest of us, <laughs> pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. That is. Wait, that's dumb though, because like when someone says like he's got the Riz, they're talking about like him being interested in another woman, isn't it? Or like no, it's like. Being being able to flirt with a woman, so being charismatic. Yeah, being able to pull pull women. Whenever like I've only heard it like two people from people like from my work, they always used it wrong then, because I totally misinterpreted what they were saying. That's why I was like charisma. That was an you're right, cat. <laughs> um, I think that's I think that's valid, right, Tanner? Yeah, uh, from the uh, the video I saw on TikTok. Yep, from the video I saw, that, that's what it stands for. It's charismatic or whatever it is. Oh well, yeah, you guys can uh, kind of hear how we how we met our wives or wife to be, and let us know how you think we did. Or if you need any advice, uh, you can send us a DM. You can reach out to us on whatever platform you're listening on, and uh, you might get a shout out in one of these next shows. That'd be kind of sick. But. I think we should just jump into it, Kobe. All right. So I don't know off. if I've even heard where you met Ellie. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think know. so either. I mean, we know so little about Kobe, but like, we're, <laughs> I feel like we're some of your closest friends, and we know like nothing about you. Well, that's how I know you guys. I know the rest of you guys, but I don't know Kobe. He's the only person that I don't know the story of. Like, I don't know how you met Ellie. That's I just know she super... popped up one day at a triple date. <laughs> triple? Triple date. Yeah. It was yeah. A... yeah. Yeah. Went bowling. We went bowling that night, didn't we? No, oh, we, we went and did we, went to, a... we got pizza. An escape room, too. Escape room? Yeah. Yeah, we, oh, got, yeah. we got pizza, and then we did that. We should do that again. Yeah, pizza we factory. Should. That and would be fun. Escape room. We were close last time. Mm-hmm. Apparently, we, it was the highest one, close. too. It's because you yeah. didn't have me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Or, or me taking the PVC off the wall that had nothing to do with this game. <laughs> yeah, Colby's breaking the room over there. <laughs> Dude, I remember there was a box that I opened, pulled the stuff out, we started doing it, box closes, and then we did something like 20 minutes later that opened the box. I was like, oh, <laughs> the box is <was> broken. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right, well, let's hear it, Colby. Before then, how was Ellie introduced? So it kind of started off, we, we, were, we had a class together at Dixie um, my senior year. She was already in college. I was a senior. It was my last semester before I graduated. She's and, older, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm the only one that got a girl younger. Yeah, you were the only one there. The rest of y'all are cougar hunters. <laughs> exactly. <dude. laughs> Big old bobcat. Anyways, we had a class together, and what the professor, he's a friend of my family's and stuff, and, like, he would always, like, 
single me out because he knew my name and would like ask me questions all the time in class. And one day he asked me like, cause we were talking, it was a law, a business law class. So we were talking about like, what's like, if you make a product or something like what it's specified to use for, so you don't get sued or whatever. And he was like trying to get me t- to answer a question like, all right, what do you use for a hammer besides a hammer? I was like, I don't know, like a ratchet. Like I started naming a bunch of these tools and Ellie was a couple rows behind me and she goes, Oh, you mean uh crescent wrench? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that was my next guess. But like, she kind of like cut me off and like, she felt bad about it. And then she sent me this email. I still have the picture of the email that she sent me from class. Like, Oh, sorry that I cut you off in class. Like I was just trying to help you out, answer the question, whatever. And like we started talking like during class and stuff or like before and after class. And like one day I'm sitting there in the business building at Dixie right by the water fountain. And I just normally what I do is I get done with class. I go sit down and then I start working on homework or whatever. So I'm doing that. And then she runs up to me, shoves her phone in my face and goes, hey, can I get your number? So I give her my number and then she runs off, literally not just runs out the door but like runs all the way home three hours north, like completely <laughs> takes off. <laughs> Scary. Well, I was like, that's all funny. right then. That's basically how I met her. So then like how, where, where did that evolve to first date? Jump us to that, fill in the gaps yeah. a little bit. Yeah. We just texted for a while. Then like, we like, we decided one night she's like, Hey, like, I want to go out in your Jeep. And that was when I was driving my dad's Jeep. I was like, yeah, sure. We do that. We, we drove out the Warner Valley. Well, I guess we went to iceberg first, got some dinner, um, and then took it out with us to Warner Valley and had kind of like a picnic type deal out in Warner Valley. And then just drove around Warner Valley most of the evening and into the night to watch the stars and stuff. And that was nice. pretty, much, pretty much it. Well, let me get some of the details right. She came to you, was like, give mm-hmm. me your number. Mm-hmm. And then you guys are texting. And then she's like, I want you to take me out in your Jeep. And you're like, all right. That's pretty much how it went, yeah. Okay. So she's all, all, all of us word for word. <laughs> oh, nice. So you're, a, so you're a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Not completely, but I can be. <laughs> Not complete. Well, it, it's like <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like when she come up to me, I wasn't really looking to like start dating again or anything or looking for another girlfriend. It just kind of happened. And I guess we officially didn't start like dating, dating until like a couple months later. After that, we went on a couple more dates and stuff. After that, but so then first date was jeeping. Did you mm-hmm. kiss her that night? No. So when was when did the first kiss happen? A while after. Like, I think she counted it. I think it was like nine or ten dates later. Like, after we had like officially been dating, or like right before we started officially dating or something, right around there. Okay. Respectful. She, she, she knows the exact number, so she can correct did me she, later. Did you initiate the first kiss, or did she... I can't remember for sure now. Are you entirely a bottom or just slightly a bottom? <laughs> <laughs> just slightly. <laughs> I think that's why I always say that short so it doesn't get messed up, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why you always got a hat, bro. <laughs> exactly, yeah. dude. You can't tell. <laughs> and he's, oh, it's just, it's, it's just hat hair. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. bad. All right, Tanner, how about you? Let's hear your story. All right. Well, I met Cam, Cameron, um, online on, I'm not going to disclose what app, but y- you swipe on it. It was Grindr. Um, yeah, for, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was Grinder. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's how we met and started texting through that and we didn't this, meet officially huh were you working for hall at that point yeah yes. okay 
So you were up like so it was late. it was hard for me to have a social life because of my work schedule and school because I was at school all day and I was working at the job I was now and so I was either at school or at that job throughout the day and then I was working for Hall doing graves for half the week so and it was it was also COVID was still kind of kind of a thing among us but not really. Yeah, we were kind of, at least here in George, it was coming out of it, or it was, like, there were still some places that were kind of picky about it, but not really. Because this was, but, like, December of 2020? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so that's like when we started of kind of talking out, yeah, was the holiday season, and then my, we never, we didn't meet until, like, in person until the beginning of January. But I had a plan to use my little cousin to ask her out for the first time because I knew where she worked because we had talked about it. And my family was in town in between Christmas and New Year's. And I was like, hey, buddy, let's let's go on. I was like, you want to go help me find some chicks? And he goes, yeah, we're going to find you a girlfriend. I was like, <laughs> all right, buddy. <laughs> so we went, me and me and him went and got iceberg. We went and got a shake and, and it was – like half the size of him and then we started driving around and where she worked was closed and i was like well crap i can't use him because i was going to send him up to ask to ask her like hey, will you go on a date with my cousin stuff like this you know all this other stuff anyways me and him drove around and had a blast and then we were going to have our first date we were going to go and get food or ice i think we were going to get ice cream or food but then there was kind of a miscommunication on whether or not she could or not. She was saying something about work or not feeling good. So then I actually made plans with Colby and we went bowling instead. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this. I don't know. Do you remember that Colby? I, I remember I said, that. I so bad. Like I blew this chick off. I'm so sorry. Like felt bad. Me and him went bowling that night instead. Um, and then our first time meeting in person and our first date was 30 minutes before I had a grave shift working for hall and i was you know we were texting about it it was right around the new year it was right after and i was like i mean i got work at 11 um and it was i don't know how late it was and so we were going to be at an iceberg and kind of like split a shake and kind of just like hang out and whatnot and she is from uh, woodby island which is near seattle and then she moved to cedar for school and so she doesn't know kind of St. George and all that stuff. And so we were sitting in, I think her car, because my car had some issues and it made a funny sound that it was like it was broken and something was, <laughs> was an dying. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I don't, get, I, I don't want to get into that. But um, so she didn't want to get in my car because she thought it was going to explode. So we were in her car, got the ice cream. She's like, hey, do you want to go up to Dixie Rock? And in my head, I'm like, oh. Ooh, like I, mm, I don't. Kiss so you're that kind of individual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not that kind of guy. Like, but she was not from here, so she doesn't know. You know the that's where you go to make out for all you young listeners. That, that's where to go. That, that's but for Max. <laughs> but so we went up there. There was nobody up there. Sat on top of the rock, hung out up there for a little bit, and then I was like, well, I gotta go. I I got work in like. 10 minutes and it's 15 minutes away um and then after that yeah that was our first official official date so nice there you go so same same question oh wait what yeah go for it i was gonna say where does the kiss like when how many times later did you guys end up kissing and stuff yeah that's where i was going at least three dates i had a rule where i wouldn't kiss before three dates and i think that's a pretty good rule that's, i don't know where i heard cool. that i think it was, I, I think it was hitch i think it was the movie <laughs> hitch with will smith where it was he can get you well his thing was he can get you laid by three dates or something like that mm-hmm. but i was like hey you know, kiss after three you don't kiss on the first date because it might send the wrong message so you got to wait a little bit because then it's like yeah hey, i'm not just looking for a kiss you know that's that's what true nights for did that i don't know but um i don't know how many more i don't know how much longer it was but it was at least three dates three dates or something like that 
are you signaling three? Yeah, three dates or more, something like that. And we were in her car and we drove out. Do you guys know where like Tropical Smoothie is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you keep going towards Washington and you go up the the hill that's right there, like in the industrial the park, farm road. and you go north, there's like a like a single lane road and then turns into a dirt road and you can eventually get to like Pine Valley. Mm-hmm. So we went out that way um, to go stargazing because you could see the stars a little bit better out there. And we were in the, we were sitting on the tail of her car and like just started talking about a bunch of things, a bunch of things slowly went further back into the car, leaned up against the seats a little bit. I mean, it wasn't crazy far. And, uh, yeah, I initiated it. So I remember that. All right. All right. And that's when you guys officially started dating. No, no, we didn't start dating for, I think another week. Not Matt. Let's hear it. How'd you meet Anna? How'd the first date go? Did you kiss her on the first date? You don't want to go first? Did that happen? I said, you don't want to go first? Nah, I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, me and Anna met. Um, I have played volleyball for a long time. It's kind of like a somewhat key characteristic of me. Because I still do it. Anyways, um, because of COVID and everything like that, we went out and played sand volleyball um, and around December 2021. No, August of 2021. She moved down here, had a roommate that um, would play sand volleyball. And she's like, Hey, you should come play sand volleyball with me. Somewhere along the lines, we ended up getting into the same group and, um, I noticed her and I was like, she looks super nice. I should, you know, go talk to her. And she ignored me. Um, And I tried like three times, like three times one day. And she just kept like walking away from me. And I was like, well, cool. That's super nice of you. Um, That was more around December. And so then um, still kept playing volleyball in the same area, but like didn't really talk. And then, Um, one day I like went and got in my car and was like getting ready to leave. And I had left my water bottle on top of my roof just because I like hadn't actually left yet because I had to shake all the sand off and do all that kind of stuff. And she like snuck up and like tried to scare me. And I was like, what the heck was that for? You were like ignoring me like a month ago and now you're doing this. And so ended up sliding into her DMs and about another guy, actually. Another guy that she was hanging out with, but she wasn't really interested in. She's trying to establish whether or not there was a goalie. (laughs) No, no, I was I was pretty sure there wasn't. But I I don't know, she just posted about it on her Instagram and I was like, This seems like a reasonable time to start a conversation. And from, like, that point on for, like, a month, we, like, never stopped talking. And about, like, a week and a half into it, we started, like, going and hanging out. We'd go, like, I would get off of work. No, I'd get out of school. She'd get off of work. um, And we'd be like, you got any plans for the rest of the night? No. You? No. Okay, let's go do something. And so for a month, there's like this period that I don't know, like technically we were kind of going on dates, but like it was unofficially, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, doing date-like activities without calling it one? Yeah. It's like, hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. You want to go drive around? Hey, what are you up to? Nothing. You want to go, you know, whatever. Funnily enough, Grant was the first um, one of our friends that she met because we were, we went to Institute together, her Institute class. And then after we're like, I'm bored. I'm bored too. Okay, cool. 
let's just like go for a drive. I ended up accidentally taking like telegraph all the way out to like Leeds. And then we're like, oh, we're already this far. Might as well go to Cedar. And so then I called Grant up and I was like, hey, uh, what are you up to? And he's like, oh, me and um, his girl at the time, we're just hanging out at the temple. So we drove, like hung out with them, had a good time there. And I think that would probably be where I would put, it wasn't our first date, but like the first time that like we were like more so close um, and like, it was like, what am I kind of thing? Anyways, then like two days later, I was like, Tanner, I want to ask this girl out. Like, would we be able to do a double date together? And Tanner was like, I mean, I guess like I, I could go bowling or something like that. And so according to her, I said it pretty wrong. I meant to be like, hey, like me and my friend were wanting to do a double date, like uh, would you want to go out with me kind of thing to her it was like hey my friend's doing a date and he wants someone to come along like a second couple to come along and I just need someone so like you're the only girl that I know I want to come and so she's not like that um, but that was our first official date um, we went to 24 May 25 May what was 25. It? we got chicken alfredo because i thought that was a pretty safe option apparently she hates cheese um so she did not touch like any of it i don't know if you remember kind of and then we went bowling and we're just all like touchy the four of us so like i would like mess around with tanner and so she's like wow he's really just ignoring me she did not have the best impression while we were together it was like that senior ball um, day it was not for the dates. Yeah. It was for the boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, Facts. But then um, after that, I was trying to take her out. You guys know, I feel like there's a hill over by Warner Valley that's like really tall that like looks over that half of the city. New Airport Hill or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. that one. Used to be able to ding golf balls off it, but uh, they built houses right up to the hillside. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you God. just have to not get caught dinging golf balls off of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I meant to take her there, and so we were driving around for a little bit, and I'm like, I have no idea where it is, nor what it is called. And so then I ended up being like, you know what? Another place that's nice is the water tower over by Dixie Rock. Um, so we went up there hung out for a little bit we were talking and at this point like we were more settled into the fact that like this was a date and we liked each other and all that kind of stuff and i like got closer to kiss her and she like walked away from me and i was like tough so i was like well whatever um somehow the conversation about me beating her up came up um and so we ended up wrestling um and I like, I was on my knees and I ended up pinning her the first time, but it was a little, it was a little rough. <laughs> not Where not was the smoothest this? thing ever. <laughs> on the water the tower? The wa water oh, tower. Oh, okay, still, okay. Okay, I didn't know if we had changed yeah. locations. Okay. <laughs> no, still there. And, We're just wrestling, and... I swear. <laughs> it's just no, fun. straight up. <laughs> straight up, just like playful, like kids. Yo, anyways. Real quick, sorry. One time, I went up to Kara's place, like, up in Idaho, and, like, it was over New Year's, all the family was there, we were playing games and everything. Um, I think she had stolen my phone, and I was trying to get it back, and then we end up, like, she runs into her room, so then I follow her to, like, take it back, and then we're, like, actually wrestling on the bed, <laughs> and then her little <laughs> niece comes in, opens the, or, like, pushes the door all the way open, she's like, what are you guys doing in here? And I was like, just wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew exactly how it would sound but I was like opportunity <laughs> Kara's a fighter though <laughs> oh for sure she yeah. picks a fight with everybody <laughs> especially you oh yeah all the time <laughs> yeah anyway sorry Matt so you guys were wrestling yeah. sidetrack no. so yeah we were wrestling and the first time was a bit rough when I pinned her the second time I like 
I'm significantly larger than my wife for anyone who does not know who she is. Um, and so I like swung her like over and like tucked her like directly underneath me and then like leaned down and kissed her. And then she was like, I've been waiting for that. And so then we, you know, ended the night there and she, she wants me to put a part in. I kissed her and we were making out and, um, I started laughing because she is such a smaller person than I am. And so I had like laughed or like giggled and she's like, what are you laughing about? And I was like, you just have small lips because like, to me, she was such a small person. She does not accept that as a thing. Is that not what you're talking about? Oh yeah, that's what she's talking about. Um, so then she did not like me after that night, but she did like that. I kissed her and things have happened well since then we got married, but yeah, that's us. Good work. And then, then like two days later, we were talking like, Oh, like, are we dating? What are we doing? Blah, 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 blah. And we're talking over FaceTime. We we're both like, Oh, it's not important. And then like, by the end of the day, we're like, but like, why not? And so I asked her to be my girlfriend then. So, Two days after our first first official date was when we started dating. It's been two years. Best two years of my life. Nice. Good work. Well, real quick, I'll buzz you guys for my 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 experience with Kara. Um, I had recently before this jumped into the the whole dating scene and I was I was being a hoe. I was I was like, I'm just gonna hoe around a little bit. Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah. So 100%. I had this theory going into it. I'm not very good at casual dating. Like, if I go out on a date on someone with someone, then it goes well, and I take them out again. So it's like I I never really dated around and found out what I liked. And so I was like, so to avoid getting stuck in a relationship, I'm just gonna go on an insane amount of dates. So I was going on like four or five dates a week. Um. I went on two dates in one day once. And that was wild. Um, so, like, yeah, I was just Wasn't Kara a part of that one? No. It was, I went up to SUU for my, like, campus tour, dated a girl up there, drove back down, and then took someone else out. It turns out to be Kara's friend. <clears throat> no, that's what it was. Yep. That's the, uh, the one that I kissed before I met Kara. <laughs> From our, our uh, Two Truths and a Lie episode. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, um, so yeah, I was like, I was hoeing around. Uh, I had a friend tell me, he was like, go swing dancing. That's where all the cuties are. So I was like, okay. So I started taking swing dancing. And that's where I ended up meeting Kara. We'd like chat. And we like, if you're hoeing around, you can never spend too much time with one female in a public place. Especially because swing dancing is where I was finding all of my females. I was also on a dating app, so I was swiping like nobody's business. And like my first night going inviting to swing, them to swing dancing. <laughs> no, I wasn't inviting. So my first time I went to swing, it was some girl invited me there on a date, and I was like, "Yeah, for sure." She's an instructor there. While I was on the date with her, some other girl came up to me and she's like, "Hey, you're uh, really cute. Can I get your Snapchat?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah, but you got to get out of here." And so I like gave it to her, and then like shoot her away, cause and then went back to my date. Anyways, I like looked around the room. There was like five or six people I had matched with. Like my first time going to swing and I was like, whew, these are dangerous waters. So anyways, <laughs> I chat with Kara, we dance. And then later that night, the second time I went swing dancing, one of the two, we ended up matching too. She was like, no way, were you at swing? And I was like, yeah. And then we like kind of chat and get her Snapchat. And she kept inviting me to devotionals. And I kept swerving her because it was right when family dinner was. And I was like, sorry, I, I'm not skipping out on food. <laughs> also, I know there's a lot of females that I've chatted with at those devotionals. So I can't be sitting next to you. <laughs> so I was high key swerving her. Then uh, it was like right at Halloween. Uh, we're at swing dance. We're chatting. I find out I have a friend from her tiny town. And she's like, no way, Grace, Idaho? And I was like, no way. And it was just like crazy connection. So then we take a picture. I send it to him. And then she's like, she will not 
leave me alone. And so I was like, listen, you want to you wanna go out on a date sometime? We can chat more there. It's just hard to hear here. And she's like, oh, yeah, for sure. So then we like set up this date. And then I was able to avoid her the rest of the night because I can't be around her too long, you know? <laughs> Keep your options open. Yeah, exactly. You should have – her face when I showed up with Alexa, she was like, is that his girlfriend? She was so, <laughs> so worried. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, we end up – so I was going up to Cedar for practice. Um, I had set up a date for Tuesday night, same night we had a practice. So I was like, yeah, I'm coming home for practice, so – uh, I think eight will work, but I'll let you know, like when I'm coming home and then she's like, okay. So then she claims that I was like an hour late to our first date. And I'm like, there wasn't a time set. That's gray area and up for debate. And she's very mad about that. But I end up swinging by picking her up at nine. The, the plan was to go to the rink, like the, the roller skating rink. It was closed by the time I'm picking her up. And so <laughs> She's like, so uh, what do you want to do? And she's like, not from around here. She's trying to find something to do. And I was like, don't worry, I got this. Because one, you think I'm about to spend money to take you out? Mm -mm. <laughs> not when I'm going on that many dates that frequently. I know how to date on a budget. <laughs> so I was like, no, we're not paying to go roller skating. So I was like, what's your shoe size? She's like, uh, like six. I was like, okay. So then I drive her back to my parents' house. We park in the neighbor's place hop the wall, sneak in through the garage. And she's like, what is going on right now? And then I swipe some rollerblades and take them. <laughs> and then we went to the same water tower where Matt and Anna had their first kiss. We like go up there. We like skate around and everything. Um, I end up chatting. Like the chemistry was just super good. And Kara's got this rule where she doesn't date. She doesn't kiss on the first date. And... I think she's a bad influence on me, not the other way around, because she's the one that broke her rule, not me. So, uh, make long and short of it, we're skating around, and I got tired of pulling her in circles because she wasn't doing squat to help. And <laughs> <laughs> so then we're just standing at the railing, and then we end up kissing. And it's still up for debate who kissed who first. So, yeah, that is it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I talked fast. Any questions with that? Claire's mud. Claire's mud. How long after that till you guys became official? Over a month. Okay. I just, at that point, I slipped her into the dating lineup. So I'd take her out like once a week, but I was also taking out other girls like once a week. But then things started progressing and getting more serious with her. So then I was like, yeah, I just got to finish, finish out all these dates I've already committed to before I can ask her to be my girlfriend. And so... I actually dropped, this will be a story for another time, but I dropped some girl's phone down a mine shaft. Right, I remember that. And then the Thank next you. day, I asked her to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> right on. Well, y'all got anything else to add? I got nothing. Let us know if you want us to do a do's and, do's and don'ts of dating. Do's and uh, don'ts. Dating. <laughs> we can do that. Guys, that have any embarrassing stories, message us, give them to us. We want to hear about it. If you need any advice, clearly... We are in no position to be given advice, but it would be entertaining. No, we're married. <laughs> we, we yeah, so obviously we did, we did something right. We did something right. We can give advice like nobody's business, <laughs> and it'll be a good time. So uh, you got stories, advice, anything needed, definitely hit us up. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, leave us a review if you're listening on, on an audio device. And, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Adiós. Adiós.